Let's see. Today it is July 18th of 2019. <clears throat> it's almost 5 a.m. in the morning. And I, I thought that I had better do a YouTube video. <clears throat> if you're a YouTube, I guess it depends on what kind of YouTube, you know, what type of material you're putting out, but <clears throat> if you're whatever, blogging, YouTube blogging, or which I am, I've been blogging since <clears throat> 1982. Um, and I was doing videos before YouTube, Amazon, Netflix, uh, all of them. But if you're doing the sort of thing that I'm doing, blogging, I do think I, sh I should be putting them out on a more regular basis. Uh, <clears throat> the written blogs or whatever were sort of the DNA was posting almost daily and in a chronological order. Um, so I should be doing but really, I'm discouraged so much. As you, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm. Uh, I do not like Facebook. I do not like Twitter. Uh, you know, I I liked YouTube. I'm conflicted with YouTube. I understand what they're doing. You know, they're definitely trying to make money and of course they have tremendous uh, you know expense and uh, you know with the amount of data being uploaded and you know uh, computers hosting this data I, so I can understand what they're doing but so far as the providers you know I, I YouTube started in 2005 and I was there waiting for them because I'd been doing it with a streaming video before, you know, before them. So I think a lot of the YouTubers really are, you know, a community. And man, we're getting, I just, uh, getting clobbered. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to make money off YouTube, but it's it's sort of uh, you want to have something that you can see, like okay, well I'm you know people approve, or I'm doing a good job, or I'm getting better, and the, you know, the amount of money that you make is you know going up, and I I think I just checked. Let's see. I don't even know where I go here. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. YouTube. And then go to. Uh. Let's see. Okay, well, here you can see right here. This is for the last 28 days. Of course, I can go and you can change it, but it always, you know, is showing the last 28 days. And you'll see my revenue is down. Yeah, you know, it's it was steadily growing, growing, you know, going up. And, uh, it got up to about oh thirty dollars per month, and so that way it took. They don't pay until you have a hundred dollars worth of commission money. Was so every three months I would get about a hundred dollars, but you know it's just been steadily going down. You know it's going the other direction, and uh, really discouraging. 
uh, you know, on the one hand, I just want to say, okay, well, I'm not going to make YouTube videos, <clears throat> but I enjoy making YouTube videos, and there are some things I'd like to put out to people, not this video, but, you know, there's times that I discover something or see something and uh, learn something and I want to pass, you know, pass it on. But then there are times like today that I just feel like, okay, I haven't made a video for, let's see, I see that I haven't made a video for, uh, let's see. Well, this was that sort of an accidental one here. This, I was trying to get an OBS, but uh, this, well, let's say four days, three or four days. And two, also look over here at the number of views. Um, that's kind of discouraging, but that's my fault. And two, I've, I've had people tell me, well, you know, just make this sort of video or that sort. And they're correct. You know, if if I uh, if I made videos about uh, guns, um, I would get, you know, I could get a lot of viewers. If uh, I had cute little kitten, you know, kitty cats or raccoons or possums or whatever, I could get a lot, you know, um, but that's not me. There should be a place for um, people who make the sort of material that I do. I know there's a there's you know people out there you know you all. Um, but there's not as many you know. Uh, I was asked by the. A local police department to a while back to help them uh, with minority recruitment a little bit uh, but the main place they wanted my help but that was sort of in the the air you know the area too of <clears throat> they want to uh, help them help their officers uh, make videos on YouTube and uh, so I you know I they took me around to the <clears throat> police academy and to the various stations and up to meet officers and uh, I'm not taking any credit for this but I did meet one officer or more than one but I met this one officer and uh, he even claimed he was very few of them showed up, which, you know, like the officers that were, uh, you know, working on this project and that, you know, came to came to me and then everything. I, you know, I told him, you know, making YouTube videos is it's a lot of work. And, you know, the, the officer says, well, the chief of, you know, the chief of police has told us and all the officers that, hey, you know, you make a video at home on your own, you know, you'll be paid, you know, your hourly money or whatever, you know, for that and other things like that, really neat things, you know. I thought, wow, that's pretty neat. But I uh, told these officers, you know, the uh, <laughs> that were, you know, in charge of this project. <laughs> Making YouTube videos is, is hard. And, you know, these officers, you know, that are patrolling or whatever division they're, you know, they're in, whatever they're doing. When they go home, they may think, yeah, I want to make a video about this. Uh, uh, but they're going to go home and it's going to be, hey, you know, sp sport, a game is on 
you know, TV, or they're going to sit down at their computer and, hmm, I think I'll check out some porn sites. Uh, <laughs> or they're going to play, you know, video games or something. They're not, you know, and it turned out that's what, you know, what happened. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know home that, I don't know that they went home and <laughs> watched porn, but they didn't go home and, you know, a few did. Almost none. But this one that guy that I ran into, a police officer who was gay and his in the police department, and he came out uh, and, you know, to the fellow officers, they knew. I mean, I'm sure there was, you know, all kinds of, you know, let's be realistic. But uh, anyway, he was one of the few, who, you know, also they, these officers uh, arranged for uh, an auditorium or a classroom at the police academy and invited oh, officers, please come to this. We're going to have, uh, you know, we're going to tell you about how we want you to make, you know, uh, videos and uh, in order to showcase the police department and what you're do you can show what you do, talk about what you want to talk about. And hopefully this will serve to uh, recruit, you know, people who want to be police officers or people who are already police officers with some department will say, hey, that police department looks pretty cool, you know, and, you know, get them. Um, so, you know, they arranged for the auditorium, and I told them before, I said, you know, these guys work hard, they got families, they're not going to want to, you know, you know, and I forget, I think seven people or something like that showed up for this thing. One was, however, the uh, gay police officer actually came and uh, I did a little presentation to the group and uh, he, the gay officer, he went and on his own, uh, made a fantastic YouTube video, you know, in his police car. Uh, you know, he made a talking about what it was like to be a gay police officer in his department and uh, you know, the can't even remember now what it, you know, what he said, but anyway, that, that he was doing his job and uh, the fellow officers were, you know, supportive of him. Uh, he thought probably, I, I'm not, I don't want to quote him because, because I can't remember, but it was a great video that he, he just, that he made. No credit to me. I mean, he didn't learn anything at that uh, little seminar that I did. And the reason he really didn't learn very much, or nobody else did, was one of the two officers, a really nice guy, by the way, uh, who was in charge of this thing or whatever, I started my little presentation. And then he thought he needed to uh, spur these guys on more. So he, he went down and he says, uh, let me show you. And so then he showed... Uh, a video, a woman who makes videos, and I'd never seen her. Of course, there's tons of people on YouTube. I'd never seen her. I haven't. I saw. I saw. You know, he pulled it up there, and I saw, and he talked about how great her videos were. Uh, you know, she smashed a new i Apple. Uh, laptop or something. I'm sure it was probably a broken one, you know, or whatever. But anyway, she smashed that. And then in the another video, he said, now look at this one, you know. Uh, she uh, had a bathing suit on and she filled her bathtub with milk and Rice Krispies or Wheaties or something. 
and then she got into the bathtub and was then eating the uh <laughs> so that, that's what he thought you know he was trying to say hey, here's here's somebody who gets a lot of views yeah but so anyway but this officer made a fantastic video uploaded it to the police department uh YouTube site and wow I wish that uh, my videos got the I mean I forget you know, he had thousands of views in that day or in a couple of two or three days he had uh, departments I know he had one in police department in Canada that saw that video and uh contacted him and said hey uh you know fa fantastic uh, you know video about being a gay police officer in a uh, police department uh could you come to canada we'll pay you know your for your fare and your hotel room or whatever and could you talk to our police officers and uh stuff like that and I was like wow but other than that there were two or three other people police officers who made videos and they were all right but they they got the kind of hits you know the kind of traffic that you know that I get and I don't think there's been any more new videos even added to that police department's uh, you know website I guess you figured out that I don't have a script. I should. I brag. I'm, I'm not. Okay, maybe that's not bragging, but I've commented before that I, I should. My God, do I need? If anybody needs a script, it's me. Uh, but I don't want to talk about politics. But now, you know, Trump. You know, during the election, everything it was, he was saying. You know, there is audience they had people to you know you can see this lady I, I bet you anything you know pay I bet she's paid and they have others throughout the audience she, she looks like she's looking okay <clears throat> are these people who I put in this you know thing are they doing what I what they're supposed to be doing or whatever but anyway remember when Trump was running for president. It was like uh, the crowd just, oh, they were. <sighs> I've told some full family or whatever. When they were doing the, back then, the chat of lock her up, you know, lock up Hillary Clinton, you know, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. When they were doing that, it reminded me of the movie. Uh... Oh, now I can't remember the movie. That's why I need a, a uh, script. Uh, oh, body invasion of the body snatchers. Remember when, you know, all the peoples whose bodies have been taken over by the pods, you know, they're calmly walking around, but then they can sense that there is a people who haven't been taken over yet, and then they go. <gasps> That reminded me of that. And now they've got this crazy thing of, like, well, it looks like he just had a, you know, it's a send her back. They're talking about the four female House members, members of Congress, members of the House, who are fe all four female and who are ethnically, you know, I guess one's, yeah, I don't know what what Spanish. And one's a Muslim. One lady's a Muslim, and it, it just uh, um, I want to mention this because Rand Paul. In the past, he 
had policies and positions. And unanimous consent that, is it, that it, as is in legislative session, the Senate proceed to calendar number 153, H.R. 1327, that the bill be considered right a third time and passed, and the motion be, to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Objection. Mr. President. Senator from Kentucky. Having the right to object, it has long been my feeling that uh, we need to address our massive debt in this country. We have a $22 trillion debt. We're adding debt at about a trillion dollars a year. And therefore, any new spending that we are approaching, any new program that's going to have the longevity of 70, 80 years should be offset by cutting spending that's less valuable. We need to at the very least have this debate. I will be offering up an amendment if this bill should come to the floor, but until then, I will object. Objection, sir. Mr. President. Senator from New York. I am deeply disappointed that my colleague has just objected to the desperately needed and um, Rand Paul has had some positions in the past that um, I was, you know, have been supportive of uh, positions that he's ta taken, uh, but of course, <laughs> lots of them I haven't been. But this one, so the House of Representatives almost unanimously, Democrats and Republicans, uh, voted uh, for funding to continue to help first responders who responded to the 9-11 disaster and were breathing in the fumes and all this type of stuff. and. Uh, the Senate also voted, I think, out of 100, I think the vote here was like 70 voted to, you know, continue the funding for these victims of the 9-11 attack with their tremendous health problems, many of them dying of cancer and all types of stuff. Uh, but anyway, Rand Paul, Senator Rand Paul, in the past has taken a position. Sometimes, you know. But anyway, his one, his one, this one vote that he did here. See, all this other was like unanimous. All these Congress agreed. It's very rare now in the United States that you know Democrats and Republicans came together. Let's help these people. But by his one vote, he stopped the. Uh, stop the thing now it's going to you know it's going to be presented in a different way or a different i don't know how this the, what the house and senate rules are but it'll it will get it'll get voted but he just you know stopped it by the by the time which is not going to make any difference i mean money wise would make any difference but you know if it's a uh, a week from now or whatever that then the thing is passed Probably two or three people will have died. Not that if the thing had been passed today that they would have been saved. But, I mean, they're going to be uh, laying there, you know, trying to breathe or something and feeling like, you know, hey, we're really not appreciated or how is my family going to make it or something, you know. But... Even though Rand Paul, like he's taken positions of, you know, not going to war unless Congress decides to go to war and, and things like that that are, you know, he's some positions that he takes, but nonetheless, he's a Republican. And, and here, as you just heard him, you know, hey, no, we can't do this and you know, because the the deficit is so large, and if we're going to spend money for anything, we need to, you know, 
raise money or we need to cut money or whatever. Oh, doesn't that sound just, you know, doesn't that sound just great? Uh, there's one little problem. I did not save it. Um, well, then let's just do it. Well, I'll, well I'm not going to tell you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sh show you. Here we go. Uh, okay, Rand Paul, he voted with the Republicans, and they were so, oh my God, I, I think they had erections. I mean, just, oh my God. They voted the tax cut for the rich, only for the rich. One trillion dollar tax cut for the people who are massively rich. They were given a massive, massive tax cut. They were just showered with money uh, to the amount of adding to the deficit one trillion dollars. Now, as soon as they got that, it was just shortly after that, that then th they even realized, oh, shit, this, this wrecks the deficit. Or, you know, this, this is a massive amount of money that we gave to our buddies here, the corporations and the rich people. But, uh, wow, that's a lot of money that, that's not going into the, uh, the treasury. That's, you know, looking at the treasury, oh shit, what happened? Our gold, you know, well, it's not gold, but you know, look, hey, what happened? The, the vault is, it was, we'd open the door up and the, the gold and the money would just fall. We open the door up now and there's a big, there's plenty of room in there. What happened to all the money? Oh, that went to the rich people. And so the Republicans were like, uh, oh, crap. Uh, okay, we're glad it happened. We're, we're so happy it happened. But now let's act like, oh, uh, we, no, we don't know him. Oh, well, that, no, no. You know, let's not even mention that, you know. Uh, we, you know, we were bribed by the corporations or whatever, and we, took care of them. They're happy and they're donating to our campaign and doing whatever else the crap they do. And, uh, <clears throat> but then, you know, the Republicans started, started saying immediately, uh, oh, by the way, you know, there's less money, you know, coming into the government now. Uh, they don't say why, but you know, there's less money coming into the, we're getting less money uh, into the, uh, you know, to our account. So we're going to have to cut or do away with food stamps, uh, cut or do away with uh, whatever they use to help people, low-income housing. Uh, we're going to have to cut Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security. We have to cut all of these things. We don't have any choice. The budget, you know, the deficit or whatever. We we don't have any choice. We have to cut all these things. Of course, as I've told you bef before and repeated, but it doesn't do any good with the Republican type people over there. And of course, the Republican politicians, everything they know, but uh, Social Security, it's not a uh, welfare program. I paid, and everybody else in the United States who works, everybody paid into Social Security. Not only did I pay in every, even a part-time job or whatever, not only did I pay in, 
but every one of my employers also paid in an equal amount. And I forget if I was paying in 6.5% or whatever of my pay going into Social Security, but every employer paid in 6.5%. Uh, that's, you know, that's Social Security. Medicare, the same, you know, the same thing. I forget what the percentage was for health insurance. Those were like, Republicans were supposed to like insurance companies. And that's, that's what it is. That's what it was. That's what it still is. An insurance program, not a company, but it's, a, you know, the government or whatever. Um, that money... Now, so far as some of the other programs, food stamps, they don't actually call it food stamps now anymore, but that's what it is. And these other things, yeah, that is the government saying, okay, we have children who do not have medical care. We have mothers. We want to make sure that, you know, when they give birth or whatever, that the infant is... Uh, given necessary, you know, checks or whatever they do. I think they stick the baby now and check the blood and do things they do. It, because if you don't, if you don't do these kind of things, if you have people who are, you know, in grade school, if you have kids in, in grade school who don't have food at home or, you know, their parents are sleeping in the car, <sighs> you know, and you want to have a program to uh, give a small amount of money so they can afford an apartment or something, rather, uh, those things, I guess, are welfare. But if you don't have those things, if we turn out that we have sick children, they will grow up to be sick. If they, if they survive, they will grow up to be sick adults who aren't going to be able to get a job or get a good job and work and pay taxes. Or you're going to, how are you going to, uh, how are we going to have a military, you know, if at the time when you need people going to military, there aren't any that can pass the physical or they've all got, you know, diabetes or something or other. Uh, just, so anyway, I mean, this is, yeah, any, anybody who voted for that, which is the Republicans, all those Republicans who voted for that, giving a trillion dollar tax cut and then to say well we can't I can't you know unless you we can't I can't give money for these 9-11 responders um, unless you cut something and they're not going to cut uh They're not going to. They're not going to say, "Oh well, we made a mistake." Oh, I hate this. Uh, you know, they're not going to say, "Well, we made a mistake," or they're not going to say, "Well, we have these nine eleven responders, and uh, they, they really need money uh, for health and whatever." So uh, let's just reduce the uh, one trillion dollar a little bit to 990 billion or whatever it would be. I don't even know. I can't even, you know, comprehend billions and trillions or whatever. I didn't want to talk about uh, politics. It has just become so...
and it absolutely makes me uh, I've mentioned this before Omar blamed the United States for the crisis in Venezuela I mean think of that one <laughs> it makes me sick too when I see <clears throat> these people in the background and I mentioned that before that I swear <clears throat> well, we, we do know a few cases that are proven uh, I think before, I believe before the election took place of people that, were, you know, <laughs> you'd see rallies in different cities and you'd see the same, some same people back in the back or whatever. And then we know, too, that even for his announcement when he came down the elevators at the Trump Towers or whatever, there was some people up there with signs chanting and whatever. And we know that uh, he actually, you know, his people went to a, in New York City, a agency that supplied, uh, what would you call them, extras for movies, TV shows, things like that. Went there and said, hey, we need X number of people, and I negotiated a deal, of course, no one Trump, those people probably are the, well, the people got paid, but probably the agency didn't get paid or had to, or else he, his people, would, you know, Trump's people would go back and say, oh, yeah, well, we, we said we'd give you, uh, you know, 25,000 for sending uh, 25 people or 50 people to the thing to hold up signs and wear these hats, which they got to keep, you know. But we decided, uh, so you have to, you know, do you want your money? And then, okay, well, you'll have to take half or whatever. That's just the way Trump operates. Oh, whatever. God, why? Let's see. As you can see, I'm using Oprah for a browser right now. I actually like the way it looks and the way it's set up, and it's been working okay for me. Um, has all these things down the side. Speed dial and bookmarks. Uh, history. Um, stuff like that. It's uh, working really well. But, you know, I don't remember downloading it. Ah. I uh, just all of a sudden I looked up and it was on the desktop. So I'm trying to think what in the world did I install that had those, you know, it has that thing you're clicking, okay, I, you know, I'm not going to read that, not going to read that. And then all of a sudden it installed, um, Adobe is, oh, Adobe should be a, considered a virus or what would you call it? The virus or uh, the way they have, you know, oh, you have to install the new version of Adobe. Um, and then you click, okay, I don't want to install it, but I, I want to make sure that my video is showing that type of stuff. So you click on it and it pops up, you know, and, oh, okay, yeah, I know. I have to read a click. Yeah, okay, yeah, I agree. Click, I agree. Click, I agree. And then by the time you, usually with me, it's like, I click, you know, and then it starts, and then wait a minute. And then it installs two or three other items, two or three of which they will hide. You'll have to, you know, go to uh, uh, and hope that you can, uh, hope that you can find them. Say, go, let's see, apps and, uh, yeah, then you'll have to, uh, you know, look over here and see. But it'll hide that too sometimes, like see the the date. So if I just did it, I'd see, you know, uh, August 18th. Wait a minute. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July 18th. You'd have to go down here and look for the the date here. And sometimes they hide that. And sometimes the things don't even show up here. Uh, 
know, they got out some new uh, Wait a minute. Uh, they got out some new hardware and there's like for the Chrome books, I guess, and the Chrome boxes. And uh, it's really, you know, the new chip is really, really great. Uh, I think I minimized the, uh, yeah, I, well, yeah, what did I do here? Yeah, you're not seeing my wonderful video of me. Uh, for this video, I'm using... Uh, Oh my God, my memory. Manny Cam. Oh, I made a video. In fact, you'll see it up here on the desktop. 23 and Me, Part 1. I think I mentioned this the other day. I mentioned it again. My uh, son in law in Washington, D.C. Uh, the other day, Amazon had their black, whatever it was, or their. Amazon Day or whatever, and the 23andMe DNA kits that are $199 were half price, and so he ordered two, one for me and one for my ex-wife, uh, and so we got them like next day or whatever, to, you know, I love, I hate and love Amazon, you know, and so we both did our spitting and have sent the kits off and so in what six seven eight weeks or whatever we'll be getting the data and i'll be showing you my data here online i'm i know you've seen tons of people because i watched a bunch of those videos of people showing their uh, talking about and showing their dna data so it'll be interesting to uh, see now my daughter in Washington, D.C., and her husband, you know, my son-in-law, uh, they did their DNA uh, things, and they didn't have any, you know, there was no, that they came back about what they expected so far as, uh, you know, their background, except my which is kind of funny, <laughs> except my uh, son-in-law has an extra amount of Neanderthal DNA in him. And that's kind of interesting because he's very smart. He has a master's degree. And uh, my daughter, his wife, uh, she has less, you know, than what you would expect, D you know, Neanderthal DNA. So it's going to be, so they did their DNA, and my uh, daughter is big into looking at it and studying it for health information that she, <clears throat> that she shared with her doctors and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting, and when we get ours, that'll give you know, give her, I mean, it won't, won't affect my son-in-law or, you know, but, uh, but uh, my ancestry, so far as I know, is uh, Irish and German. But it'll be interesting to see because, you know, that goes back a, a little ways. And my ex-wife, 
uh, hers is the same, Irish and German. She always corrects me. You know, she says, uh, Austria, that her father was from Austria, but I, I, you know, it doesn't matter because when he was born at that date, the, uh, you know, you know, the boundaries were here and then the, you know, the boundaries changed here and they changed here and whatever it is, you know, it's that, that thing, but she's, oh no, Austria, Austria, you know. So, but it'll be interesting to see, uh, now my, ex-wife DNA has nothing to do, you know, but for our kids, we have four, four grown kids, of course. Uh, what I did, you know, when I, when we sent this DNA information, I'm 78, um, when I sent the uh, kits off, by the way, I, like I said, I'll be doing a video. I made part one, which just kind of showing the box, you know, 23 and me part one so then when I get the thing I'll add that to the video and show you but uh, God do I need to... by the way it'll be when you sign up for this kit one of the they ask you you know it, okay here are four things that do you really want to know if you have the marker or whatever for these things? If you tell us no, we won't, you know, give you that information. If you want it, we'll give it to you. And uh, two of them are like one is uh, Huntington's. Is that it? No, Parkinson's. Parkinson's and the other is Alzheimer's. And now if you have the marker, that doesn't mean you're, the other two, I don't even know, you know, some Latin words or whatever, I don't know. I went to Catholic school and was an altar boy, but I don't know Latin. Um, I don't even know what those two things are. But my mother had Alzheimer's. And uh, so, but anyway, it will be, but now, see, with my daughter, who had her, you know, there weren't any, but that, of course that could be that, so, of course, you know, I checked, yes, I want all the, you know, all the information, but I'm 78 years old. And, uh, we were really lucky with my mother. My mother was staying in her mobile home and she just never went out. So when her Alzheimer's kicked in, she never, like most of the others, you know, she never tried to leave because her whole thing was, you know, she stayed inside. She didn't try to leave because that was her life. I really, you know, was, I mean, I was going over there and picking up st stuff for her and uh, that type of stuff, but I really wasn't paying attention. You know, she was like, you know, had her box of pictures and stuff, and you know, let why don't you let me show you? And I uh, later, you know, blah, blah. but I really didn't notice anything until I just wasn't paying attention. Um, I did not notice anything until. She stopped because TV was on, you know. Every morning she would wake up, she would get ice and get her a drink and be in her room, in her bed, and watching TV. And uh, she had her routine of TV, TV, TV. And I think the first thing that I noticed was the TV wasn't on. And then, why aren't you watching TV? Is the TV broke, you know, whatever. And it was... Um, and I think she kind of knew then that, but she did, you know, she said, well, Mrs. Reagan has been on TV talking to me, saying bad things to me. And then I knew, oh, shit, you know. And then right around that time, 
Well, Hillary then, well, yeah, I guess I knew because uh, my daughter Hillary moved in with her and was taking care of her. And anyway, uh, Thanksgiving came around. And so some of the family, you know, I was there and I forget who else was there. Some fa a little bit of family, not much. Uh, and Hillary and my mother had made a turkey and dressing and great food and everything. And so we're all eating. And my mother, who loved to eat, was just sitting there. And I said, you're not eating, you know. And, and I said, take a... And she wouldn't eat anything. And so then, you know, wow. And I think about that time, too, is when I think she turned to Hillary and said, you know, about me, is he my husband or is he my son? Maybe I knew before that, but it was, you know. Yeah, I think I did know before then. Or maybe it was after then. I paid a lady to cut her grass. You know, she lived in a mobile home. Nice mobile home, you know, trailer park. It didn't have a lot of grass, but I paid a lady to cut her grass. And so then the lady said, I went to cut her grass. And, you know, she came to the door and yelled at me to get off the property get out of here or what, you know, whatever. And I said, uh, don't pay any attention to it. Just cut the grass. She, she has Alzheimer's. And the lady had no, and it was the lady after that. I couldn't cut her grass. She came to the door and I said, you know, she has Alzheimer's. Just don't pay any attention. You know, cut the grass. But we were really lucky because, you know, I worked hospital security for 30 years and, don't know how many times I was called up to the floor to help restrain a patient or to if I could watch them for a little bit while the nurses did some stuff to make sure they didn't leave or I'd be working, you know, two or three o'clock in the morning, make rounds outside the hospital, small hospital that, well, I worked at big hospitals too, but for 11 years I worked at a small hospital. I'd be making rounds outside the hospital, fire exit door would pop open here comes some old lady, you know, with a gown open all the way down the, and cold weather, I remember in cold weather this one time, you know, really winter time, you know, and really bad, and pops out, and she's heading for the, you know, heading for the highway, and I have to go, come on back, you, you need to go up to your room, you know, whatever, that type of stuff, so dealt a lot. Uh, also with my mother, <clears throat> she went into the hospital, at least two times. And that was, uh, her electrolytes were out of kilter. So she wasn't eating or drinking right or something or other. And then as soon as they got, but anyway, she, then she, at the hospital, she was combating with the nurses. And so the social worker <clears throat> said, uh, you know, could I come by the hospital? I worked there, but it was there at night, you know. <clears throat> Could I come by the hospital before my mother was released? And, you know, I went by and the social worker said, uh, Jim, um, the doctor thinks that your mother should go into, you know, a nursing home and everything. You know, she's combated. We've had to put, you know, restraints on her hands to keep her from hitting the nurses or pulling her IVs out or whatever. And I said, no, she can... She'll be okay at home, and she was. Uh, as she was, as soon as she got home, back into her trailer, she was okay. And uh, then, by the time we had to uh, call in uh, hospice care for her, uh, she, they came in. And talked to the family and filled out the paperwork and told us how it worked. And for her to be still staying at home, you know, it was like two or three weeks. And she, my mother passed away. She uh, was not having any pain or anything. She had some pain. The hospice nurse brought out some pain medication. And uh, 
first time or second time pain medication was given, my mother just, that was it. So, like I said, uh, we were very, very lucky. Some people, Alzheimer's is a terrible. Uh, if I knew that I was going to get it, I would not want my family to go through that. Uh, so, I, you know, but I still want to know if I have the marker or, or whatever. Anyway, I'll be doing the, oh, I was going to mention that too also, just to show you. I am still have a little bit up here. Uh, you have to log in, you know, username, password, all that type of stuff. So uh, I've already done that. You know, we've already done that. And my ex-wife and I are both in the same, you know, account. So you log in and then you pick which one. And I sent the information, you know, log in and password or whatever to my uh, daughter and uh, her husband so that if I'm 78 so if something happens you know it's going to take five six seven weeks or whatever before the data goes online or whatever if something were to happen to me uh, my daughter would be able to you know log into the account even though something had happened to me and access the data be kind of a you know you know she'd be sitting there if something happened to me she'd be sad because something happened to me but then she'd be wondering maybe about her dna background or whatever so even now even if something happens to me let's see what that look well it's not going to show um uh medical links 23 and me sign in here it is see you see up here my ex-wife so I have to click for me so this is what my family you know what my family would do and then uh, so you can track it you know it's going to show here the tracking, you know, registered. Uh, they're waiting to receive the kit. They're doing preparation. They're doing extraction. They're doing genotyping. They're reviewing it. They're commutating it. And the results are ready or whatever. I don't think it's going to take two or four weeks for them to uh, get the delivery. <laughs> well, it says track the kit. Not going to be, they probably didn't. See, yeah, not even in the system yet. But the mailman did pick them, you know, pick them up. Well, I don't know that because um, I took it to the office, the apartment complex office, and they have it there. But the mailman always has mail for the office and comes in. But it's possible that, uh, you know, maybe he didn't have, he usually has a bunch of stuff to take to the office. But it's possible that it could be sitting, uh, still sitting there and be, will be picked up tomorrow. Anyway, this has been sort of a rambling Anyway, back to um, I um, I haven't listed my uh, G seven. Panasonic G7 camera. I just can't hardly bring myself to to do it. I'm not using it. I don't get out. I mean, just going from here to the office to take the DNA kits. I almost stumbled a few times. Just stepping off the curb. I have to be really careful. Um, I fell into track down. I was well. I was walking a little further then, but not far. Uh, three blocks to uh, 
think I went think I went to Sonic and coming back from at Sonic you know at the edge of the I stepped off and it was a kind of a, a little higher curb you know than normal I fell down into traffic and I had trouble getting back up scraped up my my legs or whatever so It's terrible getting old. What was the movie? Where the people, when they turn, what, 35 or 30 or something, you know, they, they are reborn, but you're not, they're not reborn, you know, they're vaporized or whatever. That's kind of an early age, but maybe, uh, God, we don't want, we don't want to uh, encourage government to do. You know, can you imagine Trump would be if they? Uh, okay, well, the age for white people will be seventy, and then they will be re-energized, meaning, you know, p killed. Uh, however, the age for black people will be 25 years of age, and actually that's like eugenics, which the United States pioneered in, and uh, Hitler, and, well, not well, even before Hitler, I think, but they uh, they looked at the books that had been written here or whatever, and that was like, oh, okay, get rid of defects. And that was, so you never know what, you know, when you start something and say something and do something, you, you just don't know where it's going to go. Um, uh, my uh, computer is back in 1080p and only one monitor and I'm sitting here again thinking about uh, because of the control panel here when I get ready to stop this you know I'll pop up this and I'll click on stop recording but um, if I put a second monitor over here, uh, then I could have it just over there. Then I could be looking and I could see if I had, you know, covered up the uh, video or something. And so, but I do like having a lot of desk space. And problem is, I've told you before, if I have a second monitor and, you know, it's in 1080p and then this, if I have this in my 4K mode, uh, you start dragging stuff back and forth and it just doesn't work out. The best thing would be if I had another 4K monitor and put it there. Then I'd have, you know, 4K on both. I um, watched a couple movies. By the way, I recommend to you on... Netflix. Actually, I haven't finished watching it. Hell or High Water uh, video uh, movie. Um, uh, let's see what else. Looking at my list here. Oh, okay. On Netflix also. Uh, point blank 
and cop car. My ex-wife and I, we disagree about movies and TV shows and everything big time. She, she is something else. But I actually recommended Point Blank and Cop Car, and she actually liked both of them. That's unusual. Uh, what else? I watch an awful lot of stuff that I've seen before, sometimes several times. I just can't... Uh, I see on my list, you know, Roadhouse, but I've seen it. I know the lines for it. I don't think I'll watch it if, you know. Uh, somebody on YouTube recommend, and I may have seen some of these. Uh, the Handover, The Irishman, Main Streets, uh, Taxi Driver. I'm not going to watch Taxi. I watched it once, once was enough. Okay, the new Mary Poppins. I thought, okay, I tried to, you know, nah. I saw the original one and could not, I can't. And uh, Now, I do need, okay, I have here on the list, Inglorious Bastards. I've watched that, but I need to watch that again. That was a good one. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching. The next time you see a video from me, I may have a second monitor hooked up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. By the way, I, there won't be any advertising running during this because of the political stuff that I said, I will demonetize it, so... So I am not making this video to make money. Even if I was trying to make money, I, I wouldn't be making money on YouTube. And an awful lot of people are having that problem. YouTube is not showing... Uh, their system is not set up to show video, you know, to pop it. When you go to YouTube, it's... it's you don't... Very few of you go to YouTube and then go to YouTube, you know, slash HNBBS or whatever. Or you, very few of you have, you know, have a bookmark with coming to my YouTube or something like that. Um, which is too bad, by the way. I'm, um, YouTube. YouTube has, and by the way, let me know if you actually see this. Hello, Oops. Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth. Um, if you came, if you come to the page, you know, YouTube slash HNBBS, uh, you know, you have home, video, playlist, you have community. They made a change to this a while back. And so it's a... Uh, a community page. You can uh, post stuff. You can comment on stuff. But about a month ago, I put a few things here. But I, I don't know if you people, I don't know if uh, this is actually turned on for me. Or if you would see something different. So you might let me know. Do you, do you see this? And if so, you know, I think it's working. If I know it's working, then I'll post some stuff there, but I don't think anybody's going to go there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.